How's the Monday, everybody? <clears throat> okay, so let's see who's in chat. I see Mr. Cubes. I see Dewin Dago with the hey, hey, hey. And God with the 11 months resub. Holy shit. Well, good to see you here. NGB is here too. Okay, so. And Deagle Nest, four months in a row. How's it going? Yes, this is a nice. A nice KBD 75. Does it not look like a, an 8X to you? I know most people, I think they went with orange for their 19X, but I got this Winkyless Tofu in brown. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm, I'm waiting to see if they will make a re-release of this KBD 67. You know? So Deagle, how's, how's it going as well? How's the trip? Did you, when's the last time you saw your family? No, you're still on that. That, that, what, four month business trip? Or trips, I guess. Okay, so today, we don't have a specific board to unbox, but I have a lot of shit to unbox, so. Right. So first of all, we're, the GHV2 plate, the replacement plate came in, so we're gonna see if that one actually works. I've got all these to unbox, it's just, I think at least one of them should be a keyboard, and I also have another package sitting. Uh, let's see if we can see it there as well. So we're gonna unbox all these now. There shouldn't be anything hype, but it's just kind of fun, I guess. A lot of boxes to tear open. Twenty-six days left, man. So hold on. So does that mean that? But do you get a few days for Thanksgiving at least? Yeah, that really sucks. Okay, but the thing about the unboxing is that, so I have not taped over the addresses for any of the packages, so I'm gonna try to rip them open without showing the address, which is kind of a difficult thing. All right, let's do it. Oops. Not show the address. Okay, so first of all, yeah, GB2 plate. The annoying thing was that they required signature today. So that's kind of. I always hate when they do that. If it's a $500 board and you require signature, okay, I, 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 I kind of get that. If it's springs or a fucking plate, who gives a shit? Deagle says I'm here for Thanksgiving. Damn, dude. Wait, hold on. So are you in just one place? Where are you moving around? Are you just... Yeah, he's actually a... 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 A-list actor. He just doesn't want you to know who he is. He doesn't give his identity away. But he's shooting for the next Marvel film. And so he's been on set for the past two and a half months. Okay, so first item here. And Davna's also with the resub. Six months. We got three resubs already. It's a, it's a good start. We got God, Deagle, and Davnus. How are you doing, Davnus? I will have to say, those string beans, those stir fried string beans with pork. Oh, so fucking good. So good. Looks like Zondat is here too. another breath for replacement because I heard from other people who got their GHV2s they said that their plates didn't have any problems the one we had had a lot of issues let me pull it out oh actually 
Okay, I wouldn't need to. I already have the clip sitting in here. Jetstream is here too, and Docious. How are both of you doing? Devlin says, tired and sick. And I'm super jealous. Sick? Are you basically just catching the whatever's going around? You know, a sore throat, cough, the sniffles, a mild fever, and that's about it. Yeah, just uh, the full package. All right. Now I'm trying to remember which one was the bad one, which one was the good one. I think this one was the bad one, right? Yeah, I want to say this is the good one and this is the bad one. We will find out. Now they both look... <laughs> Pretty much the same. You know, one of the best looking plates I've seen. It's a brushed brass plate. Look at that. And it, it actually feels quite nice in hand. One big thing is this is not cut clean. Look at that. Okay, so let's test them with some switches to see if they work just fine. So I believe one of these, the, so it should be too tight. Jetstream says, I already see an issue with the plate. ISO compatible. Yes, that is a big problem. Big, big, big problem. Plasma Solutions, how's it going? He says, arguably, you should be able to tell the difference. It's a nice finish. Okay, see, so this one is way too loose. So remember, we, we I had to tell the guy to to ask LZ for a new plate because the old one is unusable. You put the switches in, and they just fall right out. So that's, that should not happen. This is what should happen. See, this is another brass plate. This is a TX-75 brass plate. If I put the switch in, it should just sit there. And see, even if I kind of push down on it, it doesn't really fall off until I push with, with conviction. But over here on the old one, just falls right off. So let's see if the replacement, I'm gonna assume this is the replacement. Hey, it actually works now, so that's nice. Let's see if I tap on it. It's not as tight as on the TX-75 plate, but this at least works, so that's very good. Let's see on this one. This is the old one. See, it just falls right off. You post a sh Oh, I did not post a stream in the Discord. That's a good call. I need to, I need to automate it. Let me do it. Okay. Thanks for, thanks for the reminder, Jetstream. Okay, let's see. Unboxing. We're just unboxing a bunch of random shit, so. Miscellaneous is often uh, written in just shorthand because I hate spelling that word. Miscellaneous stuff. There we go. 
license. I think we start at 7 30, isn't it? Alright. Okay, yeah, thanks so much, Jetstream. Pre appreciate it. So nice. I've never seen a plate that loose. Maybe LZ and QC them. The yeah, that's the weird thing because everyone else that I spoke to, I think it was two or three other people who did get a brass plate from the GHV2. He's they said that they didn't have any problems. So I'm just assuming that this one was just not cut right. It's kind of a waste too though, because it's it's a pretty nice plate otherwise. So I would save it for something like mod switches where they're they're way thicker than cherry. So you probably right label this. You tape it up and label it. Some people like this a lot. All right, I think it's properly labeled. We'll know not to not to use this one. Mighty fine shindig. Hey, how's it going? I like this here too. Okay, let's see if I'm missing anyone. Red Hawk, how's it going? And Arctic Fox too. Red Hawk, one of these days on one of these Mondays, we need to get you on on stream. Digo says, let's see what he say. Hold on. Finish does look good. Yeah, it, it it looks super nice. Yeah, so this plate finally works. And Doshas with a cheer. Thank you so much. 100 bits for the bad girl. Oh, yes. I've been a bad girl. And that one, Oscar, as always. Twitch Prime sub. Hello, hello. Welcome back. You've been, been gone for a bit. Nice to see you back. I find Shindig says the plane has a little blemish on it, but overall I'm very happy. Wait. Oh, the white TX. Okay, okay. You're talking about your TX87 SE. Okay, I thought I thought you were talking about this one. Wait a minute. It's not yours. What the fuck? Okay, so the plane's. Uh, honestly, plate blemishes. I'm not I'm not too concerned about plate blemishes. I'd rather the blemish be on, say, the weight than on the plate. The plate for me is mostly. As long as it's usable, I'm not going to complain too much. But yeah, Oscar, welcome back. How's everything going? Did you go to the Dallas meetup? I couldn't go because I was getting some stuff done that weekend and I was still sick. Alright, so this one works. It's good. It's good. The Eagle says, I run a sports bar. We're opening a new location, so out of town for it. Oh, so that's why. Okay. That's cool. I thought you were just, you know, selling insurance or something. <laughs> Better label which one is good. Yeah, I labeled the bad one. Talisman Solutions. The Kin Center placement plate uh, for this? No, this is for the... This is LZ, I think. And GA33E is here too. How's it going? Great until someone's daughter helps with the returns. Well, but I, I don't think we're gonna return it. It's gonna cost them too much to, to, to pay for shipping to go back. So kind of a waste, you know, I wish I could do something with it, but oh well. If I saw a label, I wanna use it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'll be honest, I have no idea why. It, it, uh, I, 
I don't know what the appeal is. Right? Some people are, re- are really into that. Yeah, I'm, I, I don't get it. Okay. So, I've got other packages. These are springs, I believe. So yeah, so just lots of packages. Let me see. Let me count. One, two, three, four. Including the plate, that would be 10. Yeah, so just lots of just parts instead of uh, full keyboard kits. And I'm trying to hide the address. HB says, What you sipping? Oh no, this is an Izzy. I can thank, thank God for leading me down this horrible path. It is. Uh, sparkling juice, I guess, but uh, the supposedly cool thing is they don't. There's no added sugar to it. It's just fruit concentrate with soda, basically. Uh, it's no added sugar, but of course the concentrate itself. You know, even from fruits, it's there's still a lot of natural sugars and stuff. So it's not like it's that much better. It sounds better though. God isn't. Here is he. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Blabby boy, how's it going? Then one Oscar says, it was pretty good you should have gone. There was a guy called Chris with a Gaskin Mount prototype. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That one's with the, uh, is it called the, it's some music term for it. I'm trying to remember what it's called. Staccato? No. Crescendo? No. I don't remember. Staccato? Okay. Why is it called the staccato though? Staccato is when something is uh, not smooth, basically. All right, so we have here 52 gram springs it's from Switch Mod. These are springs, Cat Wee springs. Apparently the springs for the lighter weights are really bad, so I don't know whether we're even gonna use these. Because I heard the almost all the lower weights they're lighter than advertised or something like that. I don't know. I've built I built maybe one or two boards with cat Wee springs. I wasn't too impressed, honestly. I didn't think they were better than spirit springs. Blemmy Boy says, what up guys? Just got here in time to catch the plate slut shaming. <laughs> yes, yeah, I... Yeah, I was just saying that I, I, I don't get why people are that into slut shaming. It's, just... it's kind of a strange thing. Then again, that's... No, that's not fetishes, alright. So when I say Spirit Spring smell, scam. That's, I mean, that's the thing though, right? Even though it's a scam... I wouldn't say it's a scam, but yeah, the the guy basically used old group buys to front his his current business. Actually, you know what? Just, okay, since you mentioned that, I I suspect that he picked the. You know how he does this weird shipping thing where. Okay, maybe someone who who knows Korean shipping would be more familiar with this, but you know, maybe, correct me if I'm wrong, but. So the option that he picks, and you can only use that option, he ships you the stuff and you have to have a signature required. And if not, it gets routed back to the post office and you have to go pick it up in I think seven business days. So typically when it's signature required, you know, most USPS packages, you will get two to three weeks to go pick it up. But with the shipping that Sprint uses, you only get one week. So if you're busy or you missed it or something, the, the, the stuff gets shipped back to him. You don't get a refund, obviously. And so I wonder if one of the reasons he's doing this is so that he ships you stuff, 
he's banking on the fact that maybe you're gonna forget or you're too busy because you know you can only show up there on on most weekdays i think weekends it's only more early saturday morning yeah so maybe you missed it you you can't pick it up you can't schedule a, a visit in time and i guess you're back to him and so he basically just restocks his he just sells it off later to another person so i don't know maybe someone can correct me but you know, because I've had a lot of spit stuff shipped to me already, so... And it actually is really annoying, because sometimes I'm just not home. And it's like, oh yeah, go pick up this $10 package. You know, take an hour trip to go pick up a $10 package, and it's like, really? I never said that. I'm saying that... This whole shipping thing right now is probably what something that he's doing and it's a borderline scam. That's what I'm saying. So And I think that just at the start I said that, you know, he didn't he basically used scams to front his current business to get capital for his current business stream seems fine on my end yeah i don't know about axm2 hello tasman solution says gb for chocolate and tonight yeah i actually just completed my order just now yeah okay so many people missed what i was saying so yeah, so what I was saying was just that the, the new shipping thing he does is super fucking annoying. So Iridia says he got springs from Sprit, but they were just left at the door. Yeah, but for mine, pretty much every time I've seen it, it's... And you know, I receive packages from Sprit quite often just because people ship me parts. And yeah, they, they were just... If I'm not home, then they get rerouted to the post office. You don't show up in seven business days it's gone and so what i was saying was that i'm pretty sure he's just not gonna even gonna refund you if you fail to go pick it up and again it's not your fault seven business days that's ridiculous yeah so if he gets bounced back he can just sell it off to someone else so he's basically just you know all he had to do was ship it and then he's not actually losing inventory Yeah, so, I don't know. Alright. So this box is kind of strange. This box was shipped from... From Zeal, and it says YOLO on it. These are supposed to be Tilios, and it's for the Mira, I believe. So I don't know who wrote this, whether it was Zeal or not. Okay. So, Tilios. <laughs> this is why I'm just pocket balls. Okay, so yeah, 90 Tilios. I think these are Tilios. Yes. Did, did Zeal change the springs for the Tilios? I think he did, right? Like, I think maybe the past generation or something. I remember something about the spring change. Because these don't feel like the the first Tilios that I received. And Trinity the Gamer is here too. How are you doing? Yeah, I know he's making a new version. But he also changed the springs for the... So basically... 
Because people are saying that I think the 60, I can't remember which, the lighter weights and the heavier ones were not right and so he had to change them or something and then I think the Tilios got affected too. And so this is before the Zeo V2 and all that. This is V1, but you know, one point something basically. Okay, so this also belongs to, I'm just gonna set all his stuff aside because this, most of this stuff belongs to the same person. It's uh, uh, Doug Goggy. I don't think he's here in chat, but he's the owner of the Polycarbonate Singer and the Luna Gray Mirror that we're gonna build. And so I'm just, just going to, I'm just gonna go through his packages first. Got some thirty two or four, I believe. <laughs> or this is just a, a DNA sample from Ski with Pete. All right, let's see. Yes, thirty two or four. What if it, what if what if what's even going on with Ski with Pete? Who even knows? Okay. And then another one, let's see what this is. Sixty five or sixty seven grams? Uh no clue honestly. I I've never bought Tilios for myself, so I wouldn't know it's whatever is on the website basically. These are just the stock Tilios. Okay, so all this is for that from me. So this is under Hey, how's it going? So for those who don't know, Athlete was the guy we built the M65 for. He received it. I saw the email late, I want to say... So Sunday yesterday? Yes, so late last night. Yeah, so... How do you like it? Did you change the keycaps yet? Because yeah, on S80, it just doesn't work, right? The space bar. Oscar says he's probably making enough money now from his skeleton kids. Does he have to live stream anymore? Has he stopped live streaming? Plasma Solution says this is like one of those ASMR channels with the sound of the plastic. Oh man, yeah, I remember one time because people all talk about ASMR, and so I clicked on one. I can't remember whether this was live on stream and whether we were just looking for someone to raid or host, or it was just on a very slow Wednesday night. Uh, but yeah, I, I checked out an ASMR channel because there were lots and lots of viewers and it was just this girl holding a balloon and scratching it or something. And I'm like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> and of course, you know, there's other balloons showing as well. There were a total of three balloons in that stream. But But yeah, it was really weird. Uh, uh, the balloon sounds, and then I think I was there for maybe just 30 seconds, and I was like, yeah, I'm out. Because it only takes me 30 seconds. Okay, so uh, we have some keycaps here. These are, what are these? What are these? Okay, is this from KBD fans, or who is this from? Okay, so we've got some extra. These look like old Enjoy PBT. Look like. So, kind of cool packaging. Let me zoom out a bit. NGB says, I don't know what happened to him. That's how I found. Wait, really? You. Okay, wait. I didn't know that. So, you found you found a channel from. <laughs> that's, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, that was really weird. That was, that was, that, that's gotta be a year ago at least, I think. Yeah, and, you know, I was starting out, I was, you know, I didn't really have much of a, an audience or anything like that, but he, he took things a bit too personally.
girl squeezing her balloons poggers. Striker! You are here as well. Start ASMR stream with title looping up. Actually, I, I thought about looping switches on stream tonight. But I think I should just get the... The, the thing I'm afraid of with looping switches on stream is that I'm afraid I will get distracted by chat and then miss something. So probably won't ever do it on stream. Okay, so it's got staples everywhere. Why? Why do people use staples for packaging? Oscar says, I was actually a mod in his channel, but I stopped watching him a long time ago. Man. Yeah, I wonder what's going on. Because, just haven't seen him in a bit. The last I saw of him was, he was at some convention. And they had a stand or something like that. Make clicking noises. Is that is that what they do on ASMR? Oh no, that's why they have it off staple. Okay, so I'm not gonna unbox the. Okay, so this is Android PBT. Wow, is this an old set? Okay, so this is Japanese. I wonder which one this is. But I've never seen, I've never received the keycap shipped this way. This is interesting. Wait, the keys don't even all fit, what the fuck? This is really strange packaging. Yeah, I don't know if this one is the same one that, that Gawk did. I think the only reliable way to find out is to check the HHKV backspace. I think that's the If he went back to skiing. Hey, Brian is here. How's it going? And yeah, AXM2, yeah, that, that is kind of strange. I remember uh, one of the last streams I saw of his was he was reviewing a Chinese phone or something like that. That's the I hate the 1980s colorway. <laughs> yeah, I think... So have you guys received Android PPT stuff shipped like that? So look at this HHKB backspace. That's that looks so lame. Look at that. Look at that puny little backspace. Look at that. Jetstream says, I have. Yeah, I personally have not. So, I mean, I didn't order this. But I'm trying to figure out which generation this is. So, this is definitely not first gen Android PBT. The Japanese one was. I'm going to say second gen. And so, I don't know if this is the one that Gok worked on or, or not. Because I didn't join that. That buy, I wouldn't know. VPR says pizza in the oven. Anthony on stream. Kido eating her food. Life is good right now. Nice. Which is it? Is it the the pizza from Market Street again? That's gonna be nice. And Pepe Sylvia is here too. 
There's a trays of Top Red 909 are being shipped in. Same manufacturer then. Okay, yeah, see, I, I have no idea. Bring Ugandan knuckles back. Man, Red Hawk, I said, uh, I was saying just now, I don't know if you, because you said the stream was breaking up. But yeah, one of these Mondays, you need to get you on. You need to tell us all about making a halal keyboard. Oh, margarita pizza this time. Nice. I think... I think the... I can't... So, for sure, the feta cheese one is my favorite. And... So, did you get all the flavors? They have barbecue chicken. They have a margarita. And they have that feta cheese, spinach, and kale. And then they have the sausage and mushrooms and onions. Yeah. I need to I need to go get more. I, I was gonna go today, but I woke up a bit too late. So maybe I'll go again Wednesday and I'll buy like five or six. Couldn't find those pizzas. I went to the grocery store. Just whole pizzas. That sucks. Yeah, these are these are really good because the the crust is pretty nice, and it's a good portion. Reminds me of the kind of thing you find the obsolete hanging filing drawer when you move to a new cubicle. BPS is barbecue chicken the one I had yesterday. Like mushrooms with steak, and we said I don't know why. So do you mean? Okay, you need like mushrooms with steak. Oh, have you ever had? Have you ever? I think. Well, I guess you need to buy chachi sauce. So, here's a crazy thing: if you just put chopped up or not chopped up, sliced mushrooms on a pan, and you know, with some oil, butter, or whatever you want to use. And you just put some chasu sauce on it. You don't add any water. And then you just saute it like that, dude. It ends up being really fucking good. Surprisingly good. Okay, so this is also for... I should probably use... I need to, I need to find a box for all this stuff. This box is big enough. We'll see. So VPR, hopefully you don't overcook the the pizza this time. So what I do usually is I, I put it in for eleven to twelve minutes, and then I broil broil it for one minute or one and a half minutes. So you get the the, the cheese just a little bit crispy on the top. Alexis. WTF chasu mushrooms? Yes, it, it actually it, it actually gets pretty good, cause chasu sauce it's really nice when it's charred, it has that sweet and charred taste to it, and so on mushrooms it, it's pretty fucking good. Okay. Who's is this? These are springs, I believe. More springs. If 
But unlike you, I love bean sprouts. Yeah, no. I, I, yeah, I don't like bean sprouts. Which is kind of weird because usually I like crunchy stuff in my food. Some kind of texture. But, yeah, bean sprouts, no. VPR says, my brother will just saute up some mushrooms and eat them like that as a meal. I can't do it. Squishy texture of mushrooms is off-putting. That's why you gotta you gotta cook it right and you gotta because with the char siu and the saute it ends up being so dried up that you don't get that mushiness anymore and the mushrooms will shrink a lot because you're basically just getting rid of all the the moisture in there. Oh, see, they put my fucking address in here. See what it says. Five percent off your next order. So, yeah, so we have fifty-five gram springs and sixty-two. These are from mechanicalkeyboards.com. So I think we are gonna use the fifty-fives on the vintage blacks for the polycarbonate singer. I always ask for extra when I get fur. Oh no. See, I don't even like fur. Fur is okay. It's alright. Overrated. Zoology, how's it going? Best way to eat shrooms? Oh wow, Zoology's gonna tell us all about it. The, the fun way to eat shrooms. Alexa, as much as the stream beans are go to, yes. I, yeah, I thought, at first I thought all, because back home we don't call them string beans, back home we call them long beans. You know, beans, when you say beans, you think of, you know, red beans and stuff like that. When you say long bean, you think of, when we say that, we mean string beans. We don't mean that green bean shit or whatever. That, that sh stuff is so nasty. Uh, especially in a can. French beans are not so bad. French beans, you can kind of stir fry them, but regular green beans, you cannot stir fry them. They are way too mushy. Even the fresh stuff. The texture is not that nice for stir fry. Okay, let's see what this is. Pretty cool. He just shipped me a lot of parts to just have on hand. And then to just work on them when I have time. So, this is. Oh, I wonder what I'm supposed to do with this. I don't really remember this. VPR asks, I don't the progressive sp springs. I don't think so. I think the progressive springs will have some sort of label, right? The peanut butter sandwich is the best. Hides the flavor, texture, nice, easy trip. <laughs> what in a million? How's it going? Have you tried... Have you heard back from KBD fans about your... Your, your 280. Camera says bean sprouts and shin ramyun. Oh man, if you think shin ramyun is good, you gotta try some other instant noodles. And yeah, I, I also just recently found out on stream that apparently shin ramyun in America is very different from shin ramyun outside, which is why I really like shin ramyun until I came here and I'm like, what happened? And I thought that, you know, it was just the whole brand of watering down their stuff. And apparently just the American version is different. Yeah, so it's kind of kind of comforting. It, it gets better. Uh, 
I mean, it says time zones. Oh, yeah, because he just found out this afternoon, right? And so he says, what happened to the original plate? So the original plate was too loose. The cutouts were too loose. Okay, what else am I opening up? Okay, and then we've got these from Alex, I believe. His switches that he doesn't even like. Like, he still wants to build with them. The true lazy fart, you made it. How's it going? I saw you were looking for some stuff in the classifieds. Talisman Solutions with 100 bits. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. My name is Melissa. It's Count of Houston. I show you good time. Ooh. Oh boy. So, who's going to be the dark gray and who's going to be the light gray? So, I, I kind of prefer being on top. Okay. NGB says, I swear to God, my ex girlfriend was taken up by aliens that night. Wait, what are we talking about? Tasman Solution says, Yeah, I think the void is having your ex-wife prepare the poisonous ones for you and telling you that they are good for you, honey. Still talking about mushrooms. Lots and lots of talks about mushrooms. He says, Okay, a brass plate spring, some base keycaps now. Yeah, so, oh wait, we haven't really finished opening up this one. So, I got sidetracked. Yeah. I guess this is for the mirror. One safe gaming. Good evening to you. Keep that loose play for mod or gather on switches. Yes. Yeah, I, I did mention that. I think it, it might just work for mod switches. Want to be the sandwich plate? Make sure to bring a friend. Those are those are hard to come by. Oh no, this is for the Mac Twenty Seven. I guess this is waiting for a PCB to go into. It's my assumption. I think yes. There's a Mac 27 plate. Holy shit, these switches are sharp. With some black switches. No idea if they're vintage black or not. Devna says, I heard you guys talking about Shin Ramen up in here. Normal Shin Ramen is kind of bland. It's just spicy and that's all. Yes, exactly. Because the Shin Ramen that I had uh, at home growing up. Even the cup noodles or whatever, just the packets and stuff like that, it would have a lot of other stuff and a lot of other, you know, dried vegetables, dried other things. There's just a lot of toppings in them. And I come here, I get Shin Ryan Yun at Walmart or something, and I'm like, what the fuck? It's just spicy broth, that's it. There's nothing. Nyogri spicy seafood ramen, which is also good. I don't think I've had that one. Okay, so this, I don't know why I took out the package. Maybe I should put it back. Yeah, so this is waiting for a PCB. BPR said the broiled trick worked out nicely. Nice. So you got the cheese to be a little crispy on the top, 
but still soft and then melted overall that's that's the way to do it man okay and then these are switches from Alex I'm gonna show you. Wow. Wow. Yes, I think that's what they are. I think, uh, I think they are halo switches, I want to say. That's in the stems, and then in, uh, yes, eye switches. So check that out. It's actually my first time seeing these housings in, in person. Otomu ice switches. Sky, sky or whatever, sky. Cause I've seen I, I, I actually saw the his prototypes of his. What are those switches? His I think the ice switches. Cause when I went to visit God, he he got samples from HB Heron Bob. And yes, and I think that the the best part about the housing is how tight the bottoms and tops are. Look at that, no wobble. On, again on the on the on the housings on the stems themselves yeah not a, not a lot as well so but I know for just the housings yeah you don't need switch films on these at all look at look at how fucking tight these are doing dig ass how do they feel tactile but you can hear that alright oh well you can hear that but listen to this It sounds like the, the leaves are quite noisy. Cold scat and beetle ox. How's it going? Holy skies, ice are different housings. Yeah, so the ones I saw were the ice, not the, the sky. And so these are the sky switches. Oh, <laughs> people will shove halo stands in anything that has a hole in it. <laughs> EPR says this one's better than a barbecue chicken. Oh nice, I need to get the margarita one again. I didn't get it the last time, I think. I got extra feta cheese ones. But hopefully by Wednesday I can go again and I'll pick some more. Up. Oh. Alex, those are trash cans. Yeah, so the Yeah, these are these are almost xylent level of Leaf sounds. They look cool though. But yeah, but definitely very tactile. And of course, they are PCB mount bottoms, which is nice. Do I have a PCB for them? PCB mount cherries here, but the could PCBs fit pretty decently for cherry. And these, the PCB mount pins are way too skinny. So basically the opposite of get around bottoms. Put these in here. It's 
fall right out. So the PC mount pins are practically useless. Beatlock says, is there a similar store to Market Street? Think I could get them at Whole Foods. Uh, so, okay, here's Beatlock's. I think, let me, let me put the link to the. Okay, so this is the feta cheese one that I was talking about. Okay, let me see, let me tag beadlocks. And so, I, I don't know if you can try to find it at a grocery store near you maybe, but they, they are pretty nice. Koba Koba, how's it going? Well, this looks like we got a lot of new people popping up right now. What is the switch for a wooden keyboard? So these, the, on this board, they are. Kyle Box Royals. Or is it kind of a grocery delivery service? Yeah, but as in. It gives him the, the name and everything. So maybe he can try to find it in grocery stores near him. The signature select or whatever. Okay, so, yeah, so these housings, they look very nice, but, yeah, wow, listen to that. Yeah, so Alex, are you sure you still want to build something of these? I guess so. Might as well, right? I mean, they don't, they don't feel bad at all. I'm just talking about the, cause yeah, these are, I guess if they all sound like that, then it's fine, right? If they all sound consistently like that, then it should be okay. But yeah, they look very nice. They, they definitely look very cool. It's got a very retro vibe to them. I love the fifties, said no black man ever. Or woman or minority or anyone <laughs> these are Odamu sky switches with halo stems and there are two of them with heavier springs with 85 gram springs here Coca Cola says is vintage brown any good if you can find a decent batch, yes, then yes. They are actually quite nice. Zoology says, PC mount pack holes are so Goldilocks. Too tight, too loose. Just pack me, daddy. Get it. Oh, I will. <laughs> Did the heavier spring... Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's see how the heavier ones sound. b -Lock says, I bought a Kira 60 and I'm at a loss what switch I want. I like my retooled skies. If you're looking for... Well, just wait for... Here's what you can do. Either go with Vintage Blacks or wait for Zillio V2s and the apparently Holy Panda re the Panda Remix or whatever. Or just wait for those and then you can you can decide what you want. Wow. <laughs> this one sounds worse actually. Okay, this one isn't as bad as this one. Hey cool, you got it labeled too. These are the extra heavy switches. Zoology says, is that a PET plate? No, this one is a... 
polycarbonate plate. We put this in a mirror last time. Talisman Solution says, Anthony, nice to have a single food product where I can achieve 90% of my saturated fats and over half of my sodium daily sodium intake in a single service. Single so serving. Ain't that great? So that's all you need for the whole day. Isn't it amazing? Just don't eat anything else. Have a says, do you still have to retool these yourself? Did they come? Wait, what? Beat losses, zeros, Z2s on top of the list, along with Vin Blacks. Yeah, I mean, I didn't receive any samples, so I can't tell you whether or not they're going to be good. And that's only half of that tiny pizza. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is, it's not like most of the other foods are going to be any better. Dominic said, just finished packing my FR4 plates and a different set of lube with the mod amps. So just should be mailing it to you this week. Nice. All right. So this week, this Friday, we're trying to do the polycarbonate singer. I, I have to do a few things. I have to lube the vintage black switches and, and swap the parts. And then I have to solder the RGB components onto the PCB. And then I think that's all I need to do for the build. And so this Friday, we're going to do the polycarbonate singer. And because the GHB2 plate replacement has come in, I think I'll do that one next Friday. So we got those two lined up. And then maybe the following Friday or Monday, we'll do the key count number one. What is that, plate four? Yeah, so this was from a disassembled board. We desoldered the switches on these for God. And I forgot to ship this back. So this is for a snow tools or snow snow pro pcb i can't remember it's snow pro regular tkl pc uh unicorn pcb or snow pro orion pcb but they fit in the mirror which is cool you just need to make sure your pcb works with it yeah so this thing fits on a duck orion it fits on the duck unicorn it fits on the i want to say tgr jane v1 and it fits on the mirror, it fits on the, what else? A lot of, a lot of, a lot of boards. A lot of Vice says, hey, what are we building? I'm sitting through a football ad right now. So, we're not building anything today, just unboxing a bunch of random stuff. Uh, I've got another board to unbox, and then we can probably, I think those maybe I will unbox as well. Okay, so this is for Alex, let me label it. So, bad slut, right? Whore. Got this one table. Okay, and then this thing. Let's see, no address here, but right there. NGB says, I could eat four of those pizzas. So I'm fat. So, did your daughter ever figure out what happened? Or are you still waiting for that apology? what it is I'm receiving here I didn't even get tracking for this it just showed up and I was like what the fuck what be this what be this okay more stuff with addresses on them so let's be careful Okay, this is a big boy. We've got ourselves and IKBC, and we are 
doing a switch slot for it. Okay, plate mount stabilizers, very nice. And switches, what switches are here? I just realized I don't have most of the lights on. Oops. There we go. Slightly better. Alright, so maybe someone can tell me what these are. Are these the Odomu Skies? What are these? Anybody says her mother yelled at me, there's nothing I could do. Then says, I, I thought you were done at these already. No, I'm so. This is, yeah, this is a rebuild. I, I did want to do it, but the thing is that I have at least, let me count. Uh, I have at least three or four rebuilds I have to do in the next few weeks. So just waiting on the new desoldering gun, yeah, it's just kind of fortunate. And with the new desoldering gun coming in, I'll have to do a lot of rebuilds to, to get my money back. Because, yeah, that's an extra two fifty two yeah, $250. So I'm just gonna have to find a way to. I have to do more rebuild just to recoup that. Two fifty. Okay, so got these switches here, and so I guess I'll have to clip the PC mount pins off of them to put them into the IKBC board. This stream sponsored by Odemu. And for those of you who don't know how to pronounce it, yes, it is O. Termu or Odemu or whatever. Not Udemu or Otemu. Uh, what other ones have I heard? What? But because in Chinese it's Otemu. So it's just Otemu. That's just it. Don't try to like, give it a French sounding name or whatever. Yeah, so I've heard Aotemu Utemu or some shit. Yeah, so these are clicky switches. I I don't like them as much as the Kyle click bars. I think the Kyle click bars sound way better. These are these are chirpy, is what I would call. Them. Yeah, definitely a nicer click than say cherry blues. Yeah, but they don't sound as clean as box whites. I don't know. I did not receive a lot of information about what these are. I just got shipped these. How the hell do you even open these switches? What the fuck? You can't even use a regular switch opening tool. See, so the click mechanism is just kind of 
par for the course, I'd say, you know, kind of typical cherry style clickies, which I think, honestly, I think that the in the cherry MX family, I think that the clickies are the weak links, I would say. I would say that the, 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 the construction of MX switches just aren't it's it's just hard to, to get a good clicky switch. But they are really nice for linears. So if you want to compare to a box white, I can bring I have one here I think. Let's compare these two. I have box navies as well that I can bring here. I'm so tired I can't type. It's okay. I, I get that too. Okay. So now we have so we got this do not use. But we're using it right now. I'm a criminal. Somebody stop me. the police okay actually should I just put them all on a plate that's what I should do Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I really don't like these compared to the click bar switches. Right, because these just don't sound clean compared to these two, right? Listen that you just hear you're not quite sure what the, the, the main sound is supposed to be. Okay, Red Hawk, I've been here and I'm still as confused as you are. I yeah, I, I look at this and I'm not quite sure what the fuck I'm looking at. Another thing that I don't like about the the I guess if you want to use the, the word jacket for jacket style clickies, I still prefer to call them the MX style just because it's whatever Cherry uses. I still don't like them compared to the click bars. Especially when you're just trying to spam. It's this one, it feels kind of slow because you kind of have to wait for it to reset, sort of. So it doesn't just doesn't feel as satisfying to spam. Whereas box whites and navies, 
Oh my god. I think click bars, bees in the trap, I think click bars have they they're his, they do have hysteresis, but I think that it works in the opposite way of a regular jacket uh, clicky. And I think if not that, then but it, yeah, it, it works it works differently for sure. I think that for box whites, you can actuate without the click sound sometimes, whereas it's the opposite for blues. You can click without actuating I think something like that I can't remember which was which biggest rise and fall of 2018 Kyle yes the worst part was that their replacements were a fucking joke they didn't fix the problem and people were like oh my god thank you Kyle for moving so fast to to, to fix the problem I always knew I could count you guys and then you know next thing you know they're still breaking keycaps why didn't you take more time we would we we would have been able to wait. Why didn't you take more time to fix your problems? So many people wasted so much money on box switches. You know, imagine buying a a a, a, a hundred box navies, thinking, oh, I'm gonna put them on this build, and then you're like, oh, but apparently they're breaking keycaps. Ooh, they've got a new revised version. I'm gonna buy a hundred of those. And you buy a hundred of those. And and then you find out weeks later, wait, what? They're still breaking keycaps? You, you, you're using the revised ones, right? Yes. Are, are, are you sure? Yes. And, and then now you have to wait for another revision. Or deal with broken keycaps, right? I'm pretty sure my GMK Honeywell is fucked. I'm very, very sure. Because the last time I sought those keycaps out, they were super loose. And it's because I had them on box whites for a long time. Right now, they're back on box whites, and I'm just leaving them there for basically ever. Yes, Oscar, the Sams are still breaking keycaps. Have it, Sylvia says, rip my 909. Oh, no. The index says I was pretty close to buying box jades. Thankfully, I fought against it. Check this out. <laughs> Red Hawkers entered the collector box switches. Oh, this big as mine. All right, CVPR. Uh, hope your kid has a good night. And maybe we'll see you back here. But advice for I agree. I, I for people who who still want good clickies, I tell them you know, get box whites. Uh, just get a cheap set of keycaps. You have to be prepared to not use those keycaps ever again on any other board. Just leave them on. Oscar says, I was about to buy some pale blues. 
Well, yeah, unfortunately so, yeah. Because if you if you want to use something like GMK, then definitely don't do it. And no, not just GMK. Uh, it makes a lot of PvP keycaps looser as well, so I'm sure eventually they'll probably break as well. Uh, JTK has been the worst in terms of the accommodating the bigger stems of Kyle Box switches. I mean, for JTK, I think that's that's great. You know, the less JTK sets out there, the better the world is as, as a place for human beings with decent, humane standards. And so, you know, that that's fine. But, when, you know, when you start breaking GMK and loosening, you start loosening PBT caps, that's when. That's when I'm going to get a bit... Bit pissed, but yeah. See, look at this. So these these aren't even mine. These are God's box switches. Now look at how much we have left over. I'm pretty sure this is like 200 switches, right? Look at this. This has got to be 200. It's a big bag. This has got to be 200. And I remember we had 200 pill blues as well. So these are box whites. Box whites. And then I have a lot as well. I I kind of I don't have all of mine in one box though, so I'm not gonna break them out. Typhoon says, I tried the jades, did not like them at all. Oh yeah, I did not like the jades at all. And I I built a board with them. Like a fucking idiot. Thankfully, I, I sold them off. I sold the board off with the jades in them. I didn't have to desolder. Don't feel so bad, Zoology. <laughs> I, I'm still... I'm, uh, I still really want to try cubic sets. The cubic profile. I had to. I have not seen them in person. Zoology says I'm gonna build my white iron with stock Ultima blues and Taiho cubic. Fuck you all. <laughs> Do it. I double dare you. Okay, so now we're looking at the IKBC MF87. Black case, blue switch, RGB, US, EAN code 4712876312113. Let me repeat that in case you missed it. 4712876312113. Uh, hopefully, this, this review has been helpful for you all. Yeah, so... The IKBC, Motherfucker 87. There's loose stuff in there. Violet Viceroy says, I really want to love clickies, but every clicky switch I've typed on is either too heavy or just badly weighted. Uh, I know for box whites for the longest time I wanted to swap the springs out for something slightly heavier and but now I'm I got so used to it that I think I'm fine with box whites as is I don't think I need aftermarket springs anymore and Hearthstones is here too also for, for anyone who, who had a question or, or had something they wanted to say and I missed it I'm really sorry yeah, chat has been moving really fast. And so I'm kind of... I think I might have missed quite a few. See, Valvice, I said, Jades are too light for the click bar. I tapped on a few boards with Jades and Meetup. They were super uncomfortable. Is Novel Keys watching? Maybe. This this is this is why I'm not sponsored by Novel Keys, I'm pretty sure. Because I was the first one to show off the... 
he tilted Stem's problem too. The very first. No one else noticed it. No one. Not a single soul. And yeah, it took them a long time to finally come on and say, yep, uh, that, that's a feature, not a bug. Zoology says, I'll send you a set of cubic to try out. Can guarantee you like the colors though. Which one did you get? Did you get the Vegas one or whatever? What's up, you sexy MF87? Hey, Chokan's here. Also, I think, hey, look, thank you, Red Hawk, for doing that. Red Hawk, if, if, if you if you truly love me, you will drop Mr. Keeps this link too. Yeah, thank you so much. Chokan, are you usually available at all around this time? Maybe in the winter? Ah, you beat me to the... <laughs> Cause, Cause, if you are, I it would be really nice if we could have you on the Monday stream, just to hang out, chat, talk a bit about life in Japan. You know, you don't have to, we we don't have to talk about keyboards. We can talk about anything else. Talk a bit about Manchester United. I know how much you love Manchester. You know. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of difficult for me. You know, I grew up. My my brother still hates Manchester United. Well, not as not as passionately as he used to, and you know. One of my best friends in, in you know, my teenage years was a huge Manchester United fan. And, you know, we got along just fun, Just great. Yeah. And so it was always kind of fun. I remember during our... The last birthday... Because well, our birthdays are just... Are on the same week. And our birthdays are just a few days apart. And... And this is me and that friend, not me and Chokan, because we're not friends. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Chokan. Uh, I, I think I think his birthday is pretty late, right? Or am I remembering this wrong? I know God's birthday is coming up soon. But anyway, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, and so you know, our, our, our I want to say final birthdays, but then it sounds kind of depressing. But yeah, it was the last birthday that I celebrated in Malaysia. You know, I haven't celebrated my birthday there in six years. Yeah, so... I got him a Manchester United... Football, I think. It's either a Manchester United football or Manchester United bag. I think it was a Manchester United football. And he got me a Liverpool bag. So, pretty cool, you know. Bitter rivals. Then the EPL, but we recognize our individual deviances. KB Warriors is here too. How's it going? And Chokan says that'll be. F I'm off work today, or I'd be moaning about daytime streams. That'll be fun though. Yeah. So yeah, one day for sure. If I don't know when, maybe we can talk about you know, can schedule something, see what time is good for you and what day or dates, whichever Monday works for you and Oscar says all about Juve now yeah man they're going crazy Real, Real Madrid it's just <laughs> ever since they they got rid of you know, Ronaldo okay so IKBC motherfucker 87 let's see what we got here we've got a booklet Usual books and shit. Okay. Got some <laughs> novelty keycaps. They're supposed to be cool. And a keycap pull the keycap puller is actually my favorite part about this whole package. I'm not even lying. These are still the best keycap pullers you can buy. And these are the IKBC keycap pullers. They are way better than than Pretty much all the others I've tried. So even better than, say, these. These are typically what people will get. These are, I'm trying to remember what brand this is. But yeah. The reason these are good. Is because look at that. Look at, look at how much longer th this one is. So this one, you can remove a maximum of four chair profile caps at a time. Maximum. Uh, when I say four, I mean four row three. So you can do three row ones. 403 
but on this you can do one more and on this one the metal is more flexible so it's easier and faster to use compared to this where the metal is too stiff yeah so these still the best keycap pullers money can buy yeah because when it's too stiff there's a lot of things you can't do a lot of things you can do but but yeah so it's included in here which is very nice Cooler Envy is a real affliction, guys. Yes. Although Penis Envy is kind of, sometimes it gets kind of, people think that it's, it's also about length, but it's usually, it's just, a, it's usually something that's only used in the context of, of women. Uh, and it's a very, of course, a very sexist uh, concept, I guess. Okay, hold on. What am I missing? I missed a lot in chat. It's the famous YouTuber Chokan. Oh, yes. One Safe Gaming says, Taihao Cubic has been on my wife's 96 key for like a year. Seem to be holding up decent. Very nice. And no, so this was not sent to me as a sample or anything. This is a rebuild. This is for a customer. I think they use the same box for the... Yeah, so they're using the same box for the full size and for the TKL. Look at this. Look at how much room there is on the side. Oh, they have foam. I think, maybe. I'm going to assume if you had a full size, you're going to get this box as well. Seems logical. Madrid is doing terrible. Yes, Madrid is doing fucking terrible. They, they recently won two games, though, I think, or something like that. No, it is a thinner wire, which is why it's nice. You don't want it to be too thick. You don't want it to be too stiff. The, I'm talking about the keycap puller. For other things, maybe you want it to be stiff. Throw away keyboard key puller. Okay, so this is a black MF87. Look at that. Pretty cool. Anodizing is, I'd say, all right, you know. I would give, what, what score would I give this? I would give this a. Six out of ten, maybe seven, but I think six, six, six point five is fair. Okay, actually, looking at the bottom, then maybe six. But yeah, but the nice thing is no pitting or anything like that. Look at that. So yeah, the tops and bottoms don't match perfectly. You can see the top is blacker than the bottom. Ooh. Focus. But, and then maybe there's some inconsistencies, maybe, but, you know, no obvious streaking. Like, look at that. The thing you see is maybe my, my fingerprints, and that's it. All right, no pitting. Hopefully you can see that, yeah, it is. Is it the bottom? You can see just some lines across, but no, nothing, nothing major, honestly. But let me see, you can see this. But for all the visible parts, pretty good. And then I don't see any scratches, any dents around the, the edges. And look at that, the edges are actually done pretty well. Look at how, look at how sharp the, the bottom edges running across. See that? See, most of the time, if you buy a custom keyboard from a group buy or whatever, you're gonna have trouble with the straight edges. But on here, it looks pretty clean. Pretty, pretty clean. Look at that, the lines are done pretty nicely. So, yeah, this. Uh, honestly, this is better than most custom keyboards you can pick up in a group buy. In terms of the, the fit and finish, quality control, definitely better. Not 
not even a contest actually. Yeah. Let me get the the what's it called? The uh, kitchen scale as well. Okay, so how much does this thing weigh? Jay Gorilla asks, okay, first of all, welcome to the stream, Jay Gorilla. He asks, do you get this key for a specific use? So this is not mine, this is a A rebuild that I'm doing for a customer. So we are going to swap the switches out and the stabilizers as well. We're going to swap them to genuine cherry plate mount stabilizers. See if we can make them feel and sound better. Okay, so this thing is four pounds, seven ounces. And that would be two point, basically two kilograms. So yeah. Not bad. Uh, I think the downside is it's not fully programmable, right? I don't think so. So, you know, it's nice as it is. I still won't buy one just because it's not fully programmable. Yeah, but the anodizing, the fit and finish overall, very nice compared to most of everything, and if you take the price into account, then yeah, it's fucking insane, the, the value you're getting. Okay. Here's the thing I hate about micro USB, you don't even know if you made a good connection. I think I did. Okay. So is this even the RGB model? Assuming yes, but how do I turn that on? This is not the first time we're seeing this keyboard on stream though. This is the second time we're looking at this. Uh, the last time we had this was a long, long, long time ago. That's a solid eight on the hardware Canuck scale. Almost as heavy as my Quora, sixty percent. Well, yeah, I mean, it is. It is just a keyboard that you pick. You know, it's just aluminum, but I think that it still, you know, doesn't doesn't move around when you just kind of push it. See, so still, still a good option for for people who just want something chunky. I guess not something I'd buy. For the features, it's pretty good. Let's see. How do I turn on the... Does this thing even have RGB LEDs? That's a good question, actually. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe this board is just a... No, it's supposed to, I think. It's got RGB switches. Wow, cherry blues. Oh, whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops.
Hey, this thing has N key rollover, I think. Yeah, because I can do more than six keys at a time. Okay, so for the RGB, uh, yeah, I'm kind of confused. Is there a reset for this? I just want them all to just do the same shit. I don't need all this weird ass. I'm not doing this reacting thing, what the hell? Is it changing color at all? I don't think so, right? Okay, so we can adjust the redness or whatever. Really dim though, how do I make it brighter? Look, I see. Wait, what? There we go. So, yeah, the lights, don't think. See, so if you get it too bright, it'll just become white. But if it's too dim, then you can't see shit. Yeah, so actually in very light conditions, you, the very bright conditions, it's kind of hard to see the RGB, honestly. But I think, for most people, they're gonna have lighting that's kind of similar to this. Should be okay. Yeah, how much is this thing? It's like 150, I think, 160, maybe. Hey, ADX, okay, how's it going? <laughs> RGB's giving me AIDS. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not a big fan of RGB either. My computer doesn't have anything RGB on it. Well, as in, I turn all of it off. Did Anthony ever get his favorite OEM board back? Which one is that? Oh, yes, actually, I did. I did actually get it back. And I haven't seen that friend in a long time. Last time I saw it was when she returned this keyboard to me. Yeah, it was this thing. Probably have to re-loop the stabilizer or something, but... I should probably get rid of it, because I'm never using it, honestly. But it's here. I should just give it away.
RGB thermal paste. Oh, did I miss the resub from Violet Viceroy? I think I did, right? I don't think I got the pop. I don't think I mentioned it. Well, thank you so much for the resub. Two months in a row. Thank you, thank you. My good friend here in Dallas has an RGB power supply. Yeah. He has an RGB power supply and I have no RGB at all on my computer. Okay, so I think, I think that's kind of it. This thing, honestly, if you just want a pre-made board, you know, if everything, it's really not too bad of an option. Uh, although, first impressions, it, it doesn't sound very nice. It sounds kind of metallic and clunky. Let me, let me try again. But again, these are with the OEM keycaps and blues. But even then, I think that, I don't think it can sound that much better yet. Yes, this is the aluminum version, Hot Flat Diet Pepsi. The MF87. Yeah, but the thing that I am impressed with is the the anodized black on this. It's really not bad. Uh, it's, a, it's a smooth texture as well. Very small bead finish on it. Hell, it's actually super fucking smooth. Holy shit. J Gorilla asks, "What keyboards do you own?" I mean, I have a, I have just a lot of parts right now, but I am typing on an Android PBT seventy five. That's what I've been recently using. And yeah, so it depends on yeah. So it, you know, the thing is, like I said, these are cherry blue, so I don't know how good or how bad it can get. Kind of hard for me to, cause I don't honestly I don't come across MX cookies very often anymore, and so we'll find out. And Cripple is here too. Yeah, for the money, for sure. I don't think you can get a TKL with the with you know RGB and and aluminum case at this price point at all. What's for dinner? So I just had Chipotle for dinner before the stream. Uh, not bad, I guess. Cause I got there, I got there at the perfect time. I got there when they brought out the new batch of white rice. And right before there were a line of 10 people. I showed up and the line was just me and someone else in front of me. And then literally after I sat down, there's like 10 people just walking through. Yeah, there's a lot of snobbery in this hobby. I... I think that the worst part of the snobbery is that, like I said, if you never come across any of the, you know, cheaper things often, then you kind of, you lose track of how much improvement they're making, or you, you know, you basically get so isolated from what other people are doing in the hobby that you have misplaced priorities you have shitty standards right like look let's be real look at look at a lot of tgi boards and analyzing fucking garbage but people are like oh man great keyboard and and yeah it's because if if all you've owned are or uh, TGR, Noxery boards. What else is bad analyzing? Even the mirrors analyzing is just okay. You know, if, if you've been using just those, you know, and I'm not even talking about the typing experience or anything like that yet. We're talking just, just, just in terms of stuff that you can, objective stuff, stuff that you can see and feel just on the outside. You know, if, if you've just been using those, 
you kind of think that's kind of standard. You, you don't know that you've been getting fucked. You don't know that you should expect more. You should demand more. Yeah, so... So it's kind of tricky. That's why I think it's... I'm kind of in a fortunate position because I get to see boards that, you know, range from... You know, cases that go from $40 to, 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 to keyboards that, that are 2.5 to 3K or whatever, you know. So it's 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 nice to, to, to have some perspective and, and to, to have constant reminders about how the hobby is going along, what's good and what's not. ADX okay, no, the 356 Mini is not the best mounting system in design, no. It's probably the most overrated and most misunderstood mounting system. NGB says, my woman made me French onion sauteed chicken. Oh my god, that sounds so good. Now zucchini, maybe not, but roasted and red potatoes as well. Man, that sounds amazing. And yes, so the the girl that served me at Chipotle is really nice. Gave me, I don't have to ask for extra anything. Usually I have to ask for extra rice or extra grilled vegetables or extra corn. Went there, the rice was, you know, piping hot straight out of the, you know, it's a fresh batch. Put lots of rice and you can see it's just still nice and soft and moist. The rice, oh, and yeah, the grilled vegetables, she just fucking just laid that shit on. I've been served by some people who just pick out, you know, maybe five pieces of, of, bell peppers and onions and it's like dude i get you hate vegetables but you know that other people actually like this shit right i talk about the canoe yeah the canoe is infamous for having an absolute shit pcb Yeah, one guy has had three PCBs go bad for his canoe. Bad portion control bankrupt the company. <laughs> well, it'll make me come back. So that's good, I guess. What do you think produces the best feel and sound mounting design aspect? Again, it really depends on the board. You can have really good sounding uh, top mounts. You can have really bad sounding top mounts. You can have really good sounding sandwich mounts. You can have really bad sounding sandwich mounts. I think that a lot of people don't understand how, honestly, how mysterious, I guess, Enigmatic? Is that a word? Yeah. The, the, you know, making, making a board sound and feel good. Especially sound. Very complex. It's like when you're trying to do airflow in a computer case. You know, there are some general rules you can follow, but to perfect it just requires experimentation. Yeah. And so same thing with keyboards. I think that the things that you can't control you want a good sounding keyboard? Honestly, in my opinion, this is strictly my opinion, my fucking opinion, all right? Good sounding keyboard, don't get stainless steel plate, don't get brass plate also, maybe kinda. It's very rare that they can actually sound good. Stainless steel, for sure, don't use stainless steel, that's it. Stainless steel, you, you use it maybe on something like box clickies and that's it, that's it, nothing else. Maybe some cases of linears, but even then, if you want to use linears, you're not preparing for, you're preparing for a very different kind of sound. You're preparing for a very harsh sound, and you probably want to use ABS keycaps on them uh, to, to, to amplify that plastic sound. And again, another thing is when people say better sound, what, kind, what is a better sound? What kind of sound are you trying to achieve? 
and people people get confused better tactile switch what kind of what 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 is your so be like oh if it's more tactile it's more better like, uh, no you know i think that that's why i was saying box royals are a great example i, I love that box royals are introduced in the market and you know, i have it on this board so it's not like i absolutely hate them or something like that but it goes to show more tactility is not always better and yeah so again it's just very different things maybe you want a very clacky board maybe you want a very thocky board maybe you want no sound at all maybe you want a very sharp sound who even knows but yes all of it you have to decide what you want that's why i think that that people are dumb whenever they're like oh this is the best this is the absolute best sounding board blah 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 it's like nah man you know you should describe you know how it sounds and stuff like that and then that's why, that's why, you know, on this channel, we focus a lot on stuff like the anodizing, the fit and finish, how the parts fit together, how, how the, the switch cutouts are very objective things, things that I can, I can actually show you on camera instead of this board is good. You should buy it. This board is good. You should buy it. By the way, that's my sponsor. Please hit them up. You should buy this board. Very good. You know? Yeah. So I think that there's. It's just it's just a difficult question to answer. Just again, a lot of things you can try. You know, how much room do I li do I leave under the PCB? Do I fill it up? Do I leave some air? Do you know? Cause you think that oh, we'll just take out all the space. But sometimes taking out all the space doesn't make it sound better. There might be other things. Maybe the the thickness of the plate. Maybe the thickness of the case. Who knows? K Warriors has been trying to make the PC gaming community recognize how a 5-pound aluminum beast is better than a 2-pound shitty K70. I mean, you're preaching to the choir. It doesn't matter. You know, you can talk about that here, but why even bother? For me, it's... I just keep doing what I'm doing, you know? I, 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 I don't stop people from buying uh, a Corsair K70 if that's what they want. If they want RGB... And they have $150 to spend. What else? What else am I going to recommend them? If they want it, they can go for it. You know, I'm not going to tell them to buy it. I'm just going to say it's better than nothing. And, and that's it, you know. I would try to make sure my friends don't buy it. And, you know, just because, you know, I'd be like, no, 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 you know, maybe I can help you out. But yeah, I think I think it's kind of necessary. Kind of uh, a hopeless battle. Kevin Plus made it. We were just talking about the canoe. Uh, Kevin Plus, you should tell Violet Visor about the canoe PCBs. He was just he just mentioned it a bit ago. Wait, I thought the K seventy has a steel plate though. What are you? What are you? What are we? What are you talking about? And again, it, it's kind of. It, I'm glad you have something that, that, that you're fighting for or whatever, but honestly, it's just kind of, I mean, it doesn't really like that. It's, again, it's just kind of, it's not something I'd waste my energy on. You know, it's not like, it's not like, you know, people in the keyboard hobby, you know, making fun of uh, people who spend five thousand dollars on a watch and you know they're like oh my god why would you spend that kind of money on a watch same thing you know they just come and say what the fuck you know all these people in the the keyboard community just buying apple watches or whatever you know they're like what the fuck it's not even a good watch blah blah, blah. or or buying an mvmt or something like that you know same thing we're all narrow-minded in certain aspects in life or whatever you know just because we know a bit better about keyboards, you know, we might be really short-sighted in other hobbies, other fields. That's why, yeah, that's why I don't really, really go out there and try to
convert people or whatever it's just kind of whatever and then i'll just keep doing whatever look seems cool to me and maybe people show up and we'll talk about keyboards and that's it i think that, that that's probably the best way to do it you know it's kind of pointless to try and argue with people Whitey Foo, yes, this is a MF87, you are correct. And welcome, welcome to the stream. Do you generally like the sound of Linear's aluminum cases? Again, it depends. Some aluminum cases are bad, some aluminum cases are great. It really just depends. And again, Linear's, what kind of Linear's are we talking about? The thing about Linear's is that they're easier to... They, they are easier to, to to work with compared to a lot of, for example, tactile switches. I don't know why anyone would want tactile switches in stiff plates. I really don't understand it. But with linears, you can make a case for it. Like tactiles in steel on steel plates, just why? Why? But with linear switches, you can either go with a no plate or go with a stiff plate, and you can achieve very different sounds that can both be nice. Shogun says, my canoe is fine because I haven't used it. At least we got one canoe that's working. <laughs> it's like Linux users trying to convert Windows users. Hey, don't don't lump me into the, 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 that, that crowd of Linux users. Whitey Foo with the, with the sub, Twitch Prime sub. I'm sorry, I missed it. But, well, I guess it just happened two minutes ago. Been very busy looking at chat. And again, if there's anything you want me to answer and I missed it or whatever, just tag me and something. But Whitey Foo, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. I know you're a bit late today. You missed. I mean, we did have a lot of, we, we, I wouldn't say we had a lot of cool stuff. We just had a lot of stuff, a lot of parts and stuff like that that we unboxed. Actually, let me put this back in the... Original box, make sure it doesn't get scratched or anything like that. Oh, I need to put it back in the plastic. So it's because people are saying that K70 has a metal back plate. I mean, when people say back plate, you know, you, you know what they mean. They mean the fucking plate. Yeah, I mean, I have, I mean, yeah, it is nothing special. Well, I wouldn't say it's nothing special. Uh, the thing is, the reason why they advertise it is because there are a lot of custom, there are a lot of keyboards out there that don't use stainless steel uh, plates. For example, a lot of older keyboards will use some sort of plastic or no plate at all. And so again, it's not like it's a unique thing to Corsair and it's not a, it's not like they, they, the, the, the plate was designed very well either, you know, I don't like typing on that plate, but they're, they're, they're not deceiving you for saying that it's a very stiff plate. I don't know, I, I'm not a very... A very confrontational person, I guess. Uh, Phallus Fallacy. I like that name. So do you like the sound of an HHKB or an FC660C more? In terms of sound... I can't quite answer that. It depends. Sound is kind of... Sub that one, really, the sound... I don't know what you like, but... FC 660C, you can think of it in terms of the Leopold is better overall in terms of construction, fit and finish. It's a very solid setup. HHKB, you can think of it as a cheap 
you know, plastic plate or PCB mount kind of board. Fun, but it's not something you would think of as premium. Whereas the 660C is like a refined, like a very serious topper board compared to the HHKB. Talisman Solution says, watching Anthony actually interact with the products at all levels is what makes this a must-see stream for me as an engineer. I think that, yeah, I think it's always important, you know, just to, to, to constantly be updated on what everyone's doing. This helps with perspective. Well, Vice Versa says, I bought a Blue Yeti on sale from a microphone. I know that 70 USB mic will not be able to hold a candle to a proper microphone, but I'm not a professional. I wanted something solid to get the job done until I'm ready to invest in something better. Like I said, I don't get it, but hey, yeah. I think I think that's a great example. That's why a lot of people who, who shit on other people in this hobby, who shit on other people, I'm just like, dude, you've got a lot of fucking trash that you're using that, you know? Probably not worth the money as well in the grand scheme of things. You know, but for you, it makes sense. You know, you're like, yeah, but, you know, I don't want to spend $300 on a coffee machine. I just had 100 and I just wanted to spend $100. That's all I wanted. You know, and, and you know, you as a coffee kind of store, what the fuck? You know, what do you mean? What do you mean? You don't need something more than that. What the fuck? You know, it's so much better. You get way more than that $200 worth over the, the $100 coffee machine. What the fuck, dude? And of course, you know, good espresso machines, you know, they can go up to tens of thousands of dollars. I know because one of my friends wants to buy one. But, oh yeah, you know, same thing. And then you're like, oh, what the fuck, these snobs, you know? This $100 machine makes me happy, you know? It does a thing for me, and I like the thing it does. It's good enough for me. I have, I rather spend my money and time on other things. You know, I spent all my money on failed group buys for custom keyboards, and so I would have nothing left to invest in a a a, a better coffee machine or whatever. And then you're like, but it makes sense to me. And then when. You know, but but when you are attacking other people, you're like, oh, what the fuck, dude? Why don't you buy a more expensive keyboard? You know, why can you only spend 150? You know, if you spend like 500, you would be set for life or something. And it's like, they maybe they just don't care. And you know, I'm not gonna try to argue with anyone to, to have them buy it. Zoology well, says, I'd rather have a boat with a hole in it rather than a canoe whose PCB hasn't failed yet. At least you know the boat has a hole in it. Yeah, and I mean, it's a glory boat. Phallus Fallacy says, I bought one for the Nobara case, then said fuck it and harvested it. The, hold on, we're talking about the, okay, 660C. Hasu controller, hyper rings, and overtouch stems. Pretty cool. I, I, I am thinking about buying a 980C again. Either that or one of the new real forces. Your cheap plastic mount. Thank you. Thank you, Redhawk. Would you mount this cheap plastic? Yes, okay, it says, what objective characteristics I should make sure to take if I wanted to make a nice custom ranking of must, should, could. If you want linears, vintage blacks, that's pretty much it. And aluminum plate, genuine cherry stabilizers. In terms of the actual build, I'm sorry, it just really depends on the keyboard. Honestly, it really just depends on the keyboard. The 980 c are fucking garbage. No topper board I've tried has had good stabilizers. All of them are terrible. 
Did the XR cases actually making the board? Then yeah, then I don't know. It's a lot of things. And it, you will definitely have to spend money making prototypes and stuff. What does it have to unbox? I've got nothing else. I mean, I have... Uh, that's honestly not too interesting. And, and oh, it's been over two hours. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to stream too much longer because it is a Monday night. And I try to keep to under two hours, but we know that's never happened. I think we've always gone past two hours. But, let's see if, oh, I already know who I want to raid. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of it. Uh, let me run the credits real quick. Yeah, so again, if you have any questions, just keep them going. I'm just going to start winding down the stream. LZ MP build stream when? Good question, Yearned. It depends on whether I'm even getting one. Okay, so cheers. Doshis with the cheers and Talisman Solutions. Thank you so much, both of you. And the subs. XFGGFX. I'm sorry I missed that sub. Thank you, thank you. And yeah, the resubs. God, Deagle, Devness, Oscar, Violet Viceroy, and Whiteyfoo. Thank you so much. Time for a raid, Chokan, yes. I I think that you are you have the most original puns. Absolutely. No one's ever made that joke before. <laughs> Yeah, but we do have a v GHV2 we're going to build probably next Friday. But yeah, everyone else, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm hoping this Friday we'll do the polycarbonate singer. I think that's going to be pretty fun. But other than that, yes, thank you so much. Have a good night. I'm going to raid our friend, the watchmaker. He's a really fun guy. No, I'll, I'll probably be there for a bit. Oh, hold on, I used the wrong. Damn it. But yeah, but if you, you have to go, then you know, don't don't feel like you have to, to to join the raid. But if you have to go, then have a great rest of the week. I hope you guys have a very refreshing week. I hope the weather isn't too terrible where you are. But yes. And I hope you don't have box switches breaking your keycaps. All right, see you all. Thank you so much.